Thank you very much, Mr. President. And like my colleagues, I want to thank the, the Rapporteur for their work on this. Indeed, the Commission remember back in January when I and one of my former colleagues, Colin Burke, met with him to try and kickstart the Globalisation Fund for the workers in Dell. And I think it's a clear indication of how much we at a European Union level put with regard to treating people first, ensuring that the people are at the core and at the centre of what the policies are, trying to ensure that their lives are protected and that when, they do, when there is trouble or difficulty that the European Union can respond quickly. On a personal level, I want to thank the Commissioner personally for his uh, active involvement in this, not just here in the Parliament or with me personally, but also for going to Limerick and meeting with the workers. And if I could say to other colleagues who try and occasionally raise red herrings with regard to other issues, that the Globalisation Fund, for all its faults, is a positive from the European Union and one that we should be encouraging to grow and to prosper. But most importantly of all, to go back to the old saying, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, he can feed himself for life. That's what the Globalisation Fund allows us to do.